In 2013, Malibu introduced the Surfgate system, and this sparked a whole new wave for wake surfing. So in this power profile, we're gonna put it to the test as we do some wake surfing behind a Wake Setter 20 MXZ. For the 20 foot length and 100 inch beam, the 20 is the baby brother in the MXZ family, but it certainly isn't lacking. Even just sitting at the dock, the 20 MXZ is an eye-catching bow. While it may look a bit extreme for some tastes, there's no denying the style and detail put into this compact package. So before we head out surfing, we'll talk about some of the features of the MXZ. And when you're talking about that line of boat, the big thing quite literally is the bow lounge. You'll see the amount of space the pickle fork design gives you affords you this massive bow lounge. For a 20 foot boat, this might be one of the biggest bow lounges in the industry. Pickle fork bows are commonplace in the tow boat industry nowadays. Pickle fork means more space. More space means more people and more people means more ballast. I like what Malibu has done with the addition of black grip tape around the outside edges. It gives you sure footing and protects your finish at the same time. Inside, the boat is clean and cozy. The open J-shaped seating allows everyone to pile in with plenty of leg room. Under these seats, there's plenty of storage as well as the standard cooler for the Red Bulls. The helm is state-of-the-art yet very functional. Everything you need is right at your fingertips. The Malibu system, front and center, is your command center. From here, you can toggle everything from the radio to rider settings. The touchscreen below turns the boat on and controls the wedge and surf gate. Moving to the transom, when you open the two barn doors, you'll find two deep storage bins flanking the engine. These are pre-plumbed for additional plug-and-play ballast, a must-have with this boat. When you remove the warming tray, you see the Inmar Monsoon 350SS, the standard horsepower offering for the 20MXZ. Whether you're putting on a board or just chilling out, the swim platform on the MXZ will be a popular spot. A built-in lounge with cup holders is a signature for the line. They even have storage below, perfect for wet lines. The edge of the platform is rounded, so you can rock into the water easily with your board on. Now here in the swim platform, we see Malibu's Surfgate system. There's these matching tabs on each side, and they may not look like much, but these little tabs have put a huge impact on surfing. Well, it's one thing to talk about it, but it's better to try it out. So let's head out and put them to the test. The magic of the Surfgate is that the opposite tab from the wake you want to surf is the one that deploys. So if you want to surf the starboard side wake, the port side tab deploys, giving you a clean, endless wave. To make sure I gave this boat a proper test, I brought my buddy Chris with me, whom I surf with at home. First, we tried the stock ballast and the wedge and found 10 miles per hour an ideal speed. While the wake was clean, it didn't have a lot of push. When it was my turn to surf, the changeover was as simple as push of a button. No moving of weight or waiting around. On the port side, I found the same thing. The wake was big, clean and fun, however it lacked the push we'd like to see in the wave that always keeps you going forward. So we stopped and added 600 pounds of additional ballast to the rear of the boat, and the difference was dramatic. The wave went from average to one of the best either of us have ever surfed. Since this model has plug and play ballast, this was a realistic setup weight for the 20MXZ. A little bit of extra weight can make your wave go a long way. So after finishing riding the Wake Setter 20MXZ, I gotta say, I am more than impressed. The Surfgate system gives it an awesome wave. It's endless, it's long, and best of all, it's big. I must say, overall, the Malibu Surfgate system puts surfing on a whole new wave.